Let's do, oh, okay. Let's do a video for um, annotation. Okay. So what is annotation? Uh, my definition of annotation would be basically um, any, you know, any level of interacting with your text. So, I mean, really anything from, I even think like, even just like dog earring, you know, I know it's not writing on the text, but you're interacting with it. You're, you know, you're, you're marking a place that you want to come back to, but you know, for, for, you know, from all intents and purposes, any to, you know, you under, oh, you underline, you circle, you draw, you highlight, you write star. Well, I write star. I love stars or smiley faces or LOLs just because I say LOL all the time or write LOL all the time. So of course that's going to be in my annotations. So however you talk is how you would talk in your annotations. Um, just write whatever the hell you want on the document but the thing is we're digital this is an online course it's a little bit trickier than just taking out a pen and writing all over a piece of paper right um not incredibly tricky but uh this video should help anyways i just pulled up annotation on google right i mean i just literally typed it in just so we could all have a definition of what the heck it means and the internet says similar to what i would say right a note or of uh, explanation or comment out of the texture diagram, right? And you can see, I mean, we can check images as well real quick, but yeah, it's, you know, it's just stuff like this, okay? Now, our tool, so you're gonna have to do this in my class. Our tool, uh, funnily enough, or, or well, beneficially enough, um, is the same tool that I use when I grade your essay. So you're gonna see the same things when um, I basically annotate your essays. <laughs> Isn't that lovely? Anyway, so you have a few like key options, right? You've got the um, up here. So the, you, the annotation screen is going to look something similar to this. You're not going to have the great assessment portion, but you're going to have the same tools. And the highlighter is, I don't know, probably maybe you'll use this. I don't know, because then you could after that, you could write like a uh, I'm sorry, you could go. You can go like this. You could take this thing, select and then like highlight that way. I don't usually do that. That just seems like too many steps. I just the three main things I use are this. I do the tabs a lot, right? I'm like the stolen farthing. I'm like, you know, if I was annotating this, I'd be like, what the heck is a farthing? Because I've, you know, this is a hundred year old story or over a hundred years old. We, I already got to look up what the frick a farthing is. Um, uh, equal to about a quarter. Um, I mean, I knew it was a unit of, <laughs> of currency. I just didn't know. But right, this is like the first thing I would... Literally, I already have a question when it starts out grim. And I'd be like, oh, I know these guys uh, have some weird and dark stories. So, hell yeah. I'll write that as well. So that's your little tabs. And they just kind of like, or they're like little pins, right? And they just give you a good little spot to kind of jump into the text. This one's a highlight. Um, I mean, it just literally does that. And you can select like little colors. You can do a green, whatever you want. Doesn't matter. Um, it's up to you. And then the last one's like cross out. I guess when you're annotating for course, you're not going to use a cross out. I use it on your essays sparingly, sparingly. Um, so yeah, you're probably never going to use that. You're probably just going to use those two, the highlight and the, and the, and, and, and the pin. But then you've also got this, which is like, you could literally draw all over the text, but it's like so clunky. Um, it really just takes too long. I feel like I like, Personally, I almost never use this unless it's just like there's no other way I can like explain something to a student. But um, but yeah, so you just want to interact with the text, right? Like highlight important moments, right? Like let's let's go through just a quick second here and see. So I already did the title, right? Like I already started commenting. Um, oh, and then if and then if you like annotate this something that you didn't want to annotate, you could highlight it and then see the little trash button and hit that hit OK. Let's just go. We'll just do the first paragraph together. OK. So I already did the, the, the byline, the authors, and the title. Here we go with the first paragraph. Once a father was seated at the dinner table with his wife and children. Um, the way that once is phrased, it's almost, it's almost like a fragment. But anyways, I'll just be like, okay. A good friend who had come to visit uh, was eating with them. Okay. While they were sitting there, the clock struck 12, and the stranger saw the door open. A very pale child. Oh, my Lord. Oh, Lord. Okay, we got two whites right in a row. I'll say, what's with all this white? Three question marks, but also a ghost. For sure, a ghost. 100% a ghost. It neither looked around nor did it speak. Yeah, because it's a freaking ghost. So I'm going to put there again. 
Yep. Well, we'll see. Yep, a freaking ghost. Uh, but went straight into the next room. Soon afterwards, it came back and just silently went out the door again. Hell yeah, that's cool. So I'm going to put that. Say hell yeah, cool. That's me annotating, right? So you might have more in-depth things to say. You might have uh, str whatever, stronger, weaker, more re related, more unrelated. Really, it doesn't matter. Um, the thing is, uh, I'll say one more thing before I end this video because I'm going on too long. But I will say this. Just by doing this, it puts these concepts and these things and these details into your brain, right? When I read my books, like I'll, I'll, I'm reading Lord of the Rings right now, I will highlight like entire freak, underline like entire freaking paragraphs or two paragraphs of like settings that I think are like beautifully described or whatever, when they're talking about the Nazgul because they're like cool, like freaking flying beasts or whatever. Anyways, by virtue of just underlining, even if you don't ever come back and read the underline, it puts it in your head further, right? Um, you might have you might have experienced the same exact thing um, when you've ever been told you could use the note, you know, the note card trick, right? Your chemistry teacher, get, you're like, you can use one note card, so you write like size like 0. 0.3 font, right, and you jam the entire textbook into one note card. But then you get to the test and you don't even need the note card because you had to write out the whole note card and you put it in your brain. That's the exact same thing the annotation is doing. And those are the tools.